This is a Minolta XE7. When I'm reaching for a camera to throw in my bag, any manual focus camera, this is the one I reach for. I have a lot of cameras and I always reach for this if I'm not going out to specifically play around with a new or different camera. Why is this camera a camera worth getting? Number one, the quality of this. I handed this camera off to a student at Barnsdall Art Center where I teach, who's been shooting film for 30 years. Like me, she has a Nikon F3. The first thing she said, which I had said to myself before was, this is very much like the F3. Everything about it feels like the F3, from the build quality to the winding mechanism, shutter, everything is fantastic on this camera. Number two, the Minolta XC7 also shoots an aperture priority. If you don't feel like shooting manual, set your aperture, let the camera do the thinking. It even, of course, has ISO up to 3200 and exposure compensation. It's got everything you need in a manual focus camera. Number three is a Minolta glass. You can get Minolta glass for pretty cheap and it's some of the best quality lenses you can get. Um, this lens right here, it's an F1.4, all metal design, whereas if you're picking up a Canon lens, you're most likely gonna end up with a plastic 50 millimeter. This is an all metal 50 millimeter. They of course make 50 in plastic, the newer ones, but I prefer this because it comes in 1.4 compared to 1.7. Number four is the grin you'll have knowing you have a far better camera than the person next to you with the AE-1 and you paid so much less, which brings me to number five is price and availability. This is not as super common of a camera. It was not a consumer end, it's a higher end Minolta. So it might be a little bit harder to find, but when you do, you get them for cheap because people just don't know the name. They don't, they've never heard of the XE7, whereas they've heard of the X700. But this camera was a higher end camera. Um, like I said, it compares to the Nikon F3. Nikon and Minolta were going back and forth, competing with each other, and they were knocking off each other's designs. I have an F3 and I still shoot with this. I cannot recommend this any higher. Um, if you liked my five reasons why you should get the Minolta XC7, please like and subscribe. I've got a lot more videos coming up, but I need your support to know people are enjoying these.